everyone today i'm reviewing my um brother's christmas gift one of my brothers don't be surprised if you see a few reviews like this with different items i have a very large family uh, one more brother or sister and i was prepared to move out as a teenager now um this is for my brother the reason why i bought this one besides the fact that it's super affordable um, it's because it has a blood pressure monitor. Now, it does have an app, it's called DaFit, uh, D-A space F-I-T. Um, it does come on instructions as well. Instructions, very easy to follow. Um, not that you're going to even need them. Nicely packed in its own little box. Um, good presentation. So, to be honest with you, I'm gonna be very happy. Um, it looks a lot more expensive than it actually is so i'm well chuffed uh, with my brother's gift this is how it looks when you first receive it i haven't taken the protection um on the screen or anything and then it has another little protector on the back on the heart rate monitor obviously because it's a gift i've left it as that for charging it says charge your device before usage my advice is don't charge your device before usage it comes with around 75 to 80 percent battery use that and then fully charge it it just keeps the battery in better condition the charger it has a little two pin and it's magnetic so let me show you that means the connection is going to be good so there we go it's quite strong magnet as well and then it goes directly onto a USB. Use a smart charger, by the way, or use a um, five volt, one amp, like charge it at five um, watts in total, um, just to make sure you keep your battery in the best condition. Now I can't show you what the app does because unfortunately what happens is um, that my screen you're not going to be able to see anything i try there we go a quick view but it's very difficult it doesn't quite so what i'm going to try when you first open the app i'll take some screenshots it'll be better um and just upload them when you open the app there's a single button that says find device press on it just short press your smartwatch as such and you'll come up t2 connect device you press the device and it stays connected you'll have its own mac address here um, that it's connected with so it's pretty good straightforward easy now on the app as i say i will upload the screenshot which i've just taken uh, but you've got watch faces you've got three to choose from notifications you can choose what you want to receive or not there's plenty. There's uh, messages, Facebook, Twitter, WhatsApp, Instagram, Skype. You've got loads. You can even add more. You've got the option of three alarms. The shutter option, which I'm going to show you on the watch itself. And then you've got others. On others, you can actually choose to have a full day heart rate. So let's try my look. No. No good. That's another screenshot to upload. Um, you can actually try uh, have the full day heart rate otherwise you'll have to take a measurement from the smartwatch where i'm going to show you how to and you've got the option to press weather and then when you press the activate the weather on the app the weather will also come up on the smartwatch otherwise it doesn't and um, that's the app it's super easy you can watch what you've done today heart rate everything your stats blood pressure and your profile i've only downloaded the app because i know my brother and i know i'm going to have to show him exactly how to use it he needed something simple and um, this smartwatch is very simple to operate it operates as follows all you need is a short press here on the start button um, to move between faces just like that and a long press when you want to select something as simple as so I've got this face on at the moment that has the time, calories burned, heart rate, steps, and the date. It says it's Wednesday. If it turns off like this, at the beginning, I thought, why does it keep turning off? It's to save battery. So it's actually a good thing, not a bad thing. If you select something like steps and it turns off, 
and you're thinking, oh my God, now I have to go. No, short press and it goes straightly back to where you were. Okay, it goes, takes you straight back where you left off. I'm going to leave it at message and then I'm going to leave it to go off and then a short press and it goes back to message. So that's a good thing. Now let's look at the options. We've got steps. Um, the steps tab, the sleep, the heart rate, and then you long press if you don't have, uh, as you can see by the lights, trying to take um, the heart rate measurement. Because I'm not wearing it, it says, please wear good um, and try again. Same with the training. Then you can take your blood pressure measurement. Again, what you do is long press. Then you've got the oxygen, uh, the blood oxygen measure. Never try that, but it's there. The weather, because I chose to have the weather. Uh, to read any messages that you have on your phone. The shutter. The shutter works as follows. You get your phone. You open the camera. You've got the camera there open. And then you're wearing your watch. You long press. And it takes the... Um, the photograph as such okay but the camera needs to be open another short press and you've got the music now as you can see we've got the camera long press oh touched it too far bear with me here music you long press and it connects the music within the music Short press to go forward, long press to select. Short press to go back, to rewind to a previous song. Long press to select. Okay, press back and again. Short press, pause and play. Long press and it stops. So to get out of the music, you go to the little back button, you long press it and it'll go back. And then you've got the settings. Within the settings, you can obviously go back. Um, you, can you can select the three styles of face that are available. You've got a stopwatch. You can put mute on, mute off. You can reset to factory settings and you can power off the device and choose the brightness. So let's go back. That's the settings and it goes back to the first page. So what can I say? I know I can't show you exactly what I see, but hopefully you'll see it's super easy to use. Um, on the app, you've got the option of do not disturb start time and end time, uh, which is that moment when maybe you got to, got to work in like an hour and you want just to relax or sleep for a little bit and then everyone remembers to send you a message. So you put do not disturb and your smartwatch will not disturb you. Um, it also has the function of um, those reminders, reminder to move, uh, which is also when you're nicely sitting on the sofa finally after a full day's work and your smartwatch decides it's a good idea to say, you know, reminder to move, let's walk for 20 minutes. Um, I don't think so. So you do have that annoying option too. Or best of all, you can leave it turned off. <laughs> For the straps, um, they're actually changeable. And it has a little pin here at the back. And all you do, just move the pin to the side. And you remove it to put it back. You hold the pin back again. And it goes in. Both of them are the same. So, it's very affordable. The silicone straps feels very soft. It also has the separation, um, very small. So sometimes when you buy smart watches, you find that you either can put them too loose or too um, tight. By having so many separation means you're going to have a good fit. It has two eyelets, so you can keep the strap in place. The strap has a very good length. Now I have very small hands, but I just want to show you how much you actually have left this was perfect it was well within my budget there we go you've got 
loads left so um, it says it's a man's um, smart watch but I believe it's unisex and um, that's up to the customer itself but for me it's a thumbs up it looks good it feels good it's easy to operate when it turns off like search in a few seconds it's to save battery the battery i haven't been wearing it obviously it's um, a christmas gift but the battery by keep touching the menu etc the battery will last you a minimum of two days so that's good um to be on the safe side use the five volt one amp charger goes straight on the usb or use a smart um, usb port charging port just to give it the um, you know the watts that it requires and no more instructions are easy price is good easy to use app is also fantastic yeah it's a clear thumbs up i recommend i'm very happy with my purchase and i'm sure you will too thanks a lot for watching